You must remember this A kiss is still a kiss Tonight, I'm hanging out at the Grand Floridian. I'm meeting up with Gracie and her family before they head back, and we're gonna dine at 1900 Park Fair. Gracie's gonna be treated like a royal princess in there. I'm so excited. So, let's go do this. And since Gracie got me a bunch of candy last time, I decided I was gonna go out and get something she was looking for at Hollywood Studios. Apparently, there's this new show called Puppy Dog Pals on Disney Junior, and they didn't have any stuff at Hollywood Studios, so I decided to make a trip out and uh, get her a couple little puppies. Last time Gracie and her family were actually over here uh, vacationing, we actually went to 1900 Park Fair together. So I'll make sure to put that video in the description so you can check it out. It was really a great time. So we decided to do it again. Oh, there's Gracie. Oh, look at what I got. <laughs> what do you say? Puppy dog pals. <laughs> that is exactly what I was looking for. Just about, I hope. <laughs> They're really hard to find. <laughs> All right, so let's get going. I think we're already checked in, but did you know they give out free samples of slushies here? I gotta get over here. Oh boy. Look at this. Free drinks before you even get in there. I like it. It's like a mystery flavor. I have no idea what that is. It tastes pretty good. I thought it was mangled by the color, but it's got a lot more to it. It's actually no mango at all. It's a mixture of passion fruit and guava and orange, right? Huh. We're gonna get to some of the food items, but I wanna point out that the menu has drastically changed within the past couple of weeks or months. They now have 40 different items. Both sides are not the same like they used to be. They have a lot more stuff. They have all you can eat prime rib now, ratatouille. I see a big improvement here and I'm like blown away. Apparently they got a new chef they said and I can see it. All you can eat prime rib? Yes, please. I need a plate first though. <laughs> there it is. More of a medium rare or more of a medium well? Medium rare. rare. Or that one, yeah. This one? That's the one. Can you I have one more piece? Yeah, of course you can. I'm going for the Ooh, meat sweats she today. Wants, she really wants to go. There, there you, you go. go love, enjoy. Oh, we got potato soup, salmon, zoodles. Over here, we got some barbecue pulled pork some lemon pepper chicken wings, some penne pasta. I think I need some of those wings. Some creamy chicken, sausage and peppers. Yes, please. Oh yeah. Roasted carrots and cauliflower. Ooh, and some butter mashed potatoes. Gonna need a little scoop of that. Bum, bum, bum. Also some beef stir fry, green beans and rice. Followed up with some fried Mississippi catfish, some ratatouille, and butternut squash ravioli. I like it. Definitely have to get some ratatouille. I do like the ratatouille, but look at that butternut squash ravioli. That looks good too. For the kiddos, we got hot dogs, meatballs, pasta, pepperoni pizza. Oh yeah, all the good stuff. And then on this side, they got chicken nuggets, corn, mac and cheese, and regular pizza. Oh, I see what they did there. Pepperoni on one side, cheese pizza on the other. Very clever. But for now, I think this will do. Oh, yes. I think I'm going to start off with these lemon pepper wings. They look really, really good, actually. Oh, look at this. A princess has arrived. And also Cinderella. Oh, did you see what I did there? 
<laughs> you know, it always happens to me. The characters usually always come over right as I'm chewing something. So then like I stop whatever I'm doing as soon as that interaction happens. You know what I mean? Like I had mid-chicken wing in my mouth and Cinderella's at the end of the table and I'm like, oh, <laughs> it really catches me off guard. But the chicken wing was very, very good. I enjoyed it. And also I ate the sausage and peppers. Those were delicious. I'm going back up for more of them. The prime rib though, that's the cream de crop right there. Man, I got mine a little bit medium mid-rare and it's delicious. This is all you can eat? Oh boy. Gracie is not impressed right here. <laughs> no eye contact, I'm sorry. No eye contact for you. <laughs> oh, and now the evil stepsisters are coming. She just wants attention. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> Round two done, or three, four, and five. I had to stop because the waltz is happening. I gotta get back up there and finish my plate. <laughs> oh no, it's their anniversary! <laughs> I think I'm gonna stick with this because I don't wanna run back up to the buffet and miss anything else good. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I walked away, I'm like, ah, I gotta run back. Ah. <laughs> Recap, I decided to get a third plate. Not so much prime red this time. This time I wanted to try a little bit of the zoodles right here. That looks so good, doesn't it? Zucchini noodles with spinach tomatoes and then veggie patty i mean it's an all vegetable entree my prime rib juice is leaking into it right now but wow i'm excited to try that it looks really good i'm excited for the zoodles i really am i like zucchini i know that seems strange you know mostly i go for the meats but zucchini is the way to go for me No, I really couldn't do it. Zoodles, you let me down. You let me down, you zoodles, you did. It has a little spice to it, but also kind of maybe a dressing on it. I'm not sure. Wasn't a big fan. Thank God I got sausage and peppers and prime rib to back you up, though. I think I've eaten plenty of meats and vegetables, so I'm going to get some dessert now. Uh, I feel like I eat mostly meats and less vegetables in fact i probably eat most meats and now i'm gonna eat more desserts and the least amount is the vegetables but i had carrots we're gonna get cream puffs cannolis orange chocolate cake cheesecake key lime tart and chocolate mousse oh i gotta get one of those key lime tarts i'll set that there give me this right here Thank you. Bread pudding and Rice Krispie treats. Oh yeah, gonna get a Rice Krispie treat. And they also have an apple cobbler. 
but there's no apple cobbler. <laughs> but we cannot forget the most important thing at 1900 Park Fair. The 1900 Park Fair signature strawberry soup. There it is. Basically, the bread pudding was my favorite. The key lime tart was really delicious. Cannoli, not so much. But that's what I need right here. Didn't you guys get your strawberry soup? No. No? <laughs> strawberry soup for you? Gracie's gonna try the strawberry soup first. I think she's backing out. Or she's giving it the smell first. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not good. Oh. You, he likes it! No! Oh. What is with you bringing me sweet things? <laughs> I feel like I'm taking shots of like alcohol here. <laughs> it's just got a weird texture, that's all. Like it tastes truly like strawberries, but like it's just weird because you wouldn't expect. Yeah, it's very frothy. Frothy, that's a good word. That's how you describe it. Frothy strawberry sauce. <laughs> Now I think we're done. We're gonna head out to get our family photo out here. That's always a good treat. Oh, there it is. There's the glass slipper. What a beautiful photo, huh? I think we're gonna head out and head over to the Magic Kingdom for happily ever after. Look at them down there just listening to the piano player. That's what I love about the Grand Floridian. Hello! <laughs> and it looks like Monorail Lime is gonna be our transportation to the Magic Kingdom. You gotta do the monorail aerobics. <laughs> what a glorious sign right there. Welcome to Magic Kingdom. It is 7.40, 20 minutes until fireworks. We have to try to get up near the partner statue. I think we're gonna make it, depending on how crowded the street is. Well, not the worst view that you can get for just getting here five minutes before Happily Ever Ever starts. It is actually very crowded here. I'm excited though. It's been a little bit since I've seen Happily Ever After. And it'll be my first time with Gracie. <laughs> and they all knew Happily Ever After. to an end, but yours continues on. Grab hold of your dreams and make them come true. For change by the way we live every day, just know
no matter how many times you watch Happily Ever After, it always gives you the feels. I love it. And I think that's it. I think we're done with today. Time to go home. Gracie and her family are heading back home. Very sad. Sad, sad, sad. All right. One more time. Hands up. That's gonna do it for us today. It was a great day, wasn't it? Excellent. 1900 Park Fair, happily ever after, and basically just the whole entire time. I'm so happy you guys let me hang out with you actually this whole entire time. I really do mean that. Like I'm serious. Like I'm sad that they're leaving. It's kind of like you have family that's leaving. I felt that way when my mom and my sister left. I'm feeling the same way. Oh, so. Love the life you live. Love the life you live. Bye.